Dear students, let us discuss some of the topics of current affairs as on April 3, 2021. India records 88,665 fresh COVID-19 cases, highest in the past six months. India recorded 634 more deaths in a day, but it achieved highest single day vaccine coverage of 36.7 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses in the past 24 hours. Line of actual control issues remain. India pushes for early solution. As the external affairs minister had pointed out to the Chinese foreign minister, a prolongation of a solution is in neither side's interest, Arindam Bagchi, Ministry of External Affairs spokesman person said. From Punjab, e-payment blocked for years by RTS direct benefit transfer rages as this issue is continuing in India, uh, in Punjab. But some of the facts as told by the uh, Professor Anji Singh Kuman, an economist with Credit Chandigarh is Approximately Rs. 1,500 crore goes as a commission in a year to the Arthigas. And he said that it is not only the central government which has to unnecessarily pay a huge amount to Arthigas, but the system also makes farmers vulnerable for plunder. CRID here is the Center for Research in Rural and Industrial Development and is based in Chandigarh. Further, Professor Kuman says this system also gives birth to interlocking of trade as RTS often force farmers to purchase agriculture inputs from particular shops. The need for services of RTS was felt after the Green Revolution began and Punjab started turning into a food bowl of the country. He said in 1961, the commission rate for RTS was just 1.5%. It was hiked to 2% in 1990 and is at present 2.5% as hiked in 1998. From Chandigarh, High Court of uh, Punjab and Haryana High Court asked for Punjab University Senate polls. Casting aside the Punjab University Vice-Chancellor's decision to indefinitely defer the Senate elections, the Punjab and Haryana High Court has, in a welcome directive, paved the way for the rest restoration of democratic functioning of the university as mandated by Punjab University Act 1947 by asking Punjab University to hold Senate polls. Lahore based Punjabi singer Shaukat Ali dies. Punjabi folk singer Shaukat Ali dies on April 2, 2021, after a brief illness at Lahore. He was 78. Fam he was famous for songs Challa, Kadi Te Bolvi, and Jagga. Reliance Industries Limited gets creditors, shareholders, note to hive off O2C business. Billionaire Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Industries Limited said it has secured the approval of its shareholders and creditors for hiving off its oil to chemical business into a separate unit. They have cut separated oil to chemical business from the rest of the business. As per the directions of Nas the National Company Law Tribunal, NCLT, the company convened meetings of equity shareholders, lenders, unsecured creditors for consideration of a resolution for transferring the O2C oil to chemical business to a separate subsidiary, a new company, Alliance O2C Limited. First farm based solar power plant comes up in Rajasthan. The first farm-based solar power plant under the Prime Minister's Kisan Urja Suraksha MM Uthan Mahabhyan Kusum scheme has been set up. This plant is 1 megawatt in power capacity and is set up on 3.5 acres of farmland in the Baloji village and it cost Rs. 3.7 crore. It has a capacity to produce 17 lakh units of electricity per year. Thanks, my dear.
students.